we're in Graysonville, Maryland. If you look right behind me, we're about to go into the Shore Medical Pavilion, where we're going to spend some time with the Maryland Primary Care Physicians. We're going to meet some of the staff, find out when they're open, and what type of services they have. So come on and join me. Now I'm with one of my favorite people, Dr. Tom Walsh. Dr. Walsh, thanks for being with us. I appreciate nice it. To see you. Now, everyone probably knows Dr. Walsh. He not only is a great doctor, he takes care of the honey and the honey bees. He's been involved in politics. He does a little bit of everything. And I just found that you're one of the founders of Maryland's Primary Care Physicians. I, I am, Fred. We, we uh, set up Maryland Primary Care as a combination of a bunch of other practices back in the 1990s. Of course, you can tell from my hair, I've been doing this since before 1990. Uh, prior to 1990, there was a bunch of individual practices around um, on the, on this, uh, in this county and also over in Anne Arundel County. And eventually we got together, decided to form a bigger unit to see if we could do a better job taking care of people and it kind of worked out. And it works great. I mean, you, the location is convenient, okay? It's easy to get off the highway and you just about offer everything from A to Z in terms of medical services here. We do. I mean, as a practice ourselves, we like to say that we take care of little babies and old ladies and everything in between. I'm an in-betweener. Yeah, I like to think of myself as an in-betweener, too. But luckily, uh, we also got involved in this complex here where we have the emergency room right next door and uh, a bunch of specialists have moved in to this building upstairs. So we're kind of developing sort of a one-stop shop for health care in this well, county. For residents of Queen Anne's County, other places, this is getting so much easier now. It used to be you had to go to 20 places. Now you come to one place, get your blood work done, any types of x-rays or anything. It's all right here, right in this building. It's so much better for it. it um, the people at Shore Health and University of Maryland and all the specialists involved have worked really hard um, to bring all the all these services right here to Queen Anne's County. I mean, I remember when I first started back in the 80s, I mean, we had to send people to Annapolis, um, Easton, and all over the place to try to get, you know, simple things like, um, um, you know, uh, a surgical consult or whatnot. But it's all right here now. We feel really good about this. Oh, I, and I know, look at this, the consumers love it, right? Because it's so much. I can remember when we first moved to Queen Anne's County almost 40 years ago, there were very little or no, no facilities here to go to. And now we've got it made. You know, Fred, when I first started, um, we opened, my initial practice was over in um, Anne Arundel County in 1981. In 1988, we decided to open an office in Stevensville, and um, we thought, yeah, we'll come over here a couple half days a week, and not much happens over there. Um, we instantly got busy, and I found out shortly after we opened that practice that just a couple of years before we started, this was a public health service shortage area. Sure. And it, there just weren't any doctors over here. So we got instantly busy. And the next thing you know, I'm over here all the time. So, and then it grew into what it is now. We have nine providers here. I have the pleasure now to have Dr. Harms with me. Dr. Harms, thank you for joining Hi, us. Nice to see you, Fred. Now tell me what your specialty is here. Family medicine. So now, what, is that, what does that mean? That means family medicine is, as they say, is the specialty that's not um, restricted by age or body system. So we- Anybody comes in the door, basically. Anybody who comes in the door, anything they come in the door with. Probably 90% of stuff we can take care of right here. Right here. Um, certainly we, we refer things out. I don't do um, uh, gallbladder removals and heart surgery and things like that, but, but um, we take care of most things here. And one of the things that I love about working on the Eastern Shore is that we really do see families. So I have lots of multi-generational. Mom, dad, and the kids all at once. Grandparents, aunts and uncles, the whole thing, okay. right, the, the whole thing. Actually, I have um, a family that's just about to have a baby. I take oh. care of the grandmother of the baby, the great-grandmother of the baby. One, two, four generations. And both of the parents. Good for you. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Dr. Hunter, are you from Maryland, or where's the background? My background's in Pennsylvania, but I've been in Maryland since 1979. Okay, we're so. in Pennsylvania. Uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. Oh, Do you sure. know that area? I know that area. I had a good friend. They used to, a lot of insurance companies there. Something I guess like something yes, like that. Yeah. That now it's a, now it's like one of the poorest cities in the country. Uh, but um, that but part of that yeah, right. right. Now I'm with Dr. Chamberlain. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank okay. You. Now we talked about our both of our loves of boats and the boats loving our pocketbooks. So we're not going to go in that no, topic. No, right. Hey, boats. tell us a little bit about yourself. Maybe where you grew up, medical school, that type of thing. Well, I'm an Eastern Shore, and I grew up in Pocomoke, way down the shore. Um, so I like still having. Uh, a presence over here. 
I've been with Maryland Primary Care since the beginning. You know, Tom Walsh and I've been together for. So this is twenty years. Twenty years with the company. Tom yeah. Walsh and I've been together for twenty twenty-five years. Yeah. More than you want to admit. Yeah, exactly. Now, Tom, so, Tom I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, Tom started the practice years, you know, a few years before me, and then I joined him, and, and then here we are. To, you know, we try to make ourselves available. We have some extended hours, and we try to uh, accommodate people and do as much as we can on site, and we you know, maintain good relationships with all the specialists in the community. So we, we hope that's the case. And you do a great job. Well, look, at you've got patients waiting, and yeah. I know that boat is looking for a new engine there. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for hey, joining thanks us. Right? Thank you. And now I'm here with Liz Schilling. Liz, tell me what your role is, is here. I'm a nurse practitioner. Okay, now tell me what that means, okay? I'm an advanced practice nurse who sees patients uh, for chronic medical problems. Now, the nurse practitioner plays such a terribly important role in medicine, right? You're screening and doing so many things that only doctors did years ago. Am I correct, Amanda? That's correct. Yeah. Well, we see patients for preventive issues. We see patients for chronic problems. We see new patients. We do almost everything that they do except for surgery. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you do a great job at it, I want to add, all right? We do a better job. No, I <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Jaleesa, and I'm a certified medical assistant. Now, Jaleesa, tell me, if someone has heard, we, we've introduced them to the doctors, some of the medical staff, if they want to know, when are you guys open? When are you open? We are open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 to 8. Thursday and Friday, 8 to 4, and Saturday, 8 to 12. Okay. If I want to call or ask some questions, do you have a number we can call? Yes. It's 410-827-4001. And is there a website or someplace we can go to learn what all the uh, different opportunities you have here for patients? Yes. The website is www.mpcp.com. Thank you for watching QA TV7. This is Fred McNeil. Thanks for joining us as we've been in Graysonville, Maryland, visiting the Maryland Primary Care Physicians. My time's up. Thank you for your time. See you next time.